One day we were walking around in Jerusalem and we got lost. We were not sure what direction to go, so I saw a group of Muslim people coming, some young boys, so I stopped them and wanted to ask for direction. But at the same time, it ended up we praying for them and two of them got healed. God, I pray pain go right now in the name of Jesus. Try to feel the pain now. Yes. Nothing. You can feel the pain? No. Where's the pain? The pain is gone. Yes. Just. Pardon me. Oh my God. Pardon me. Yes, sir. Do you have something? Oh my God. Do you have something? Yes, sir. Pardon me. Oh my God. From knee? Knee problem? Do you have pain? In knee? Yeah. Can I? You feel pain now? Thank you for pain go. Okay, pain go in Jesus. So you cannot feel it, but I feel you have pain in the knee. We shared the gospel and then they told us what direction to go. But two days later, one of those guys who experienced God, he contacted us again and asked if we could meet again because he now had a friend who would like to meet us. So we met with him and his friend, Mohammed, and we were sitting in a park and talking with them and talking about the difference between religion and relationship. Before I look up in the sky and say, God, if you are there, come and take me. Now I look up in the sky and say, I, I know you are there. I do not believe that you are there anymore. I know you are there because I have experienced you. Have you sometimes problem in the back? Yeah. Do you have pain now? A little? Yeah. How did I know that? Do you know how I knew it? No. <laughs> Sometimes God speaks through word of knowledge. When, when we pray and with God, we can spirit God is giving us things. The reason you have problem in back is also the legs. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Do you have pain there also now? Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> okay. You didn't tell me. Yes, you yeah, know. Yeah. I knew. Yeah. And this is some the Bible said the word of knowledge. Well, can you try to sit back? Go, go back as far as you can. Okay, okay, yeah. Look, look here. Can you stand up? Look here. God, I thank you for healing right now. Healing, healing. Can you feel it? Healing right now, healing right now, healing right now. Now they're the same. God, thank you for total healing in the name of Jesus. Try to stand now. How is the back and how is the leg now? Back, no, nothing. Nothing. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. The leg, do you have pain there? Don't feel nothing. Don't feel nothing. <laughs> What's that? It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It's kind of magic. It's Jesus, actually. It's not magic. It's, it's, well, Jesus, you read about him in the Bible, New Testament. He walked around here. He heard from God. The Holy Spirit led him. And then he laid hands on people and they got healed. If you repent toward God, get baptized to Jesus Christ and receive the same spirit, you can go around doing the same. Same thing. You can go around praying for people and God he will use you. But it was not only them God sent us for. Because then we went to the birth church of Jesus where they say that Jesus was born. Now Bethlehem is a strictly Palestinian territory. It's only Arabs. And when you enter the, um, into Bethlehem, there's a big sign, red sign outside that says if you are an Israeli citizen, you are not allowed to enter this area and you're putting your life in risk because it's protected by law and you cannot walk into here. So it's really strictly Palestinian and it's only Arabs. There's no Israeli people inside. So we got in there and you know, we were really, really nervous thinking, okay, what's gonna happen here? 
I was not sure how much we are allowed to. There was a lot of Muslims and can you just go out and what can you do? You wanna get inside? Yeah, I'll just go around and see if we can go inside. But also, I think we'll find somebody to pray for. Okay. Outside. Ask him, do he have something? Do you have a marad if you want to end up? You have? Here. What is wrong with you? Uh, nerves in her head. head. Okay, yeah. How, where, where? From here? Yeah. Okay, how long time have had it? Many years. Okay, but I pray for you. God, thank you for freedom. I command this to leave her head. Freedom right now. Healing right now in the name of Jesus. How is it now? <laughs> what? Thank you, thank you very much. Is it gone? <laughs> and from there it went fast. Person after person got healed that day. And as we were praying and you know we were watching around and then three, four more people say, oh what's going on? And they start looking, what's, what's happening? And they see that, oh, so you got healed. So yeah, really, really got healed. So really? And I said, no, it's not, it's just psychological. No, no, it's real. And then one of them comes, okay, I have also a little pain here. And we pray, and we pray, and we pray, and boom, 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 one after the next one, they healed, healed, healed. Hi. I have a headache. You have a headache, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Headache. It's it's Arabic, right? No, but you, you can help me. Huh? Uh, I have a headache. Do you have, is it coming from here no, or from no, back? I, no, here, I feel that my head is heavy. Okay. Sometimes because it's connected with colon. I have a okay. colon. When I eat something wrong and uh, no medicine, I feel heavy. Okay, so okay. I can't uh, do more. Okay. Are, are you a Christian? No, I'm Muslim. You're Muslim, okay, but I pray for you. God, thank you for freedom right now. Command this to leave his body. Healing right now. Pain go. Pain go. Freedom right now is going to be a strong testimony. Healing right now in the name of Jesus. How is it now? No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Hey. And we saw uh, a group of women, Muslim women, got set free from demons. Some of them saw a big light come over them and something left them. Freedom, go. Go, 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 go. Don't be afraid. Freedom, 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 freedom right now. Freedom. Can you feel something left you? Is it gone? يعني أفهم يعني كان في شيء شيء حسيت يطلع منك؟ اه اه يا yeah. yeah. something yeah you saw it شو معي؟ she was asking what's wrong with it it was a spirit that was a wrong spirit كان في روح مش صح and you felt like you breathed it out it came out of you اه انا بتحكي معها حسيت انه طلعت الروح yeah Jesus got born in there and they say he he got uh, he got he died and he got buried but what I believe that he rose up again he's alive and we can get to know him today and this is what we have experienced and when you go talk to the Jews the, the Orthodox and the radical Jews and you, you see then huge opposition you know that the huge uh, aggressiveness that they have against and I see what system Jesus had to step against and how much uh, a boldness you need to, to really take that step because you know it's gonna cost you your life you know that and on the other hand today we went to this Palestinian area where you think oh they, these are the murderers the killers but you're there and this is people with hurt people with with pains people with a, a normal life a broken life and when they see the life the real life, they were like, like thirsty. They were just coming one after the other, just coming hungry. Give me that, give me that, I want, I need that. Of course, of course we're not talking here, we didn't baptize those people yet or anything like that, but you see that they are hungry, they are waiting, that it is the time. And it, it's beautiful to see because it's like being in the time of Jesus. He just was walking around these very same cities and people would just come to him. He would come like, oh, you know, he, and they would just, by the thousands, we were just there for a couple of hours and we prayed like for at least at least 20 people and they brought even their family members from home they called them come and they came in their cars just so that we could touch them and pray for them it, it's insane because that's what jesus did it's just so different to lay the hands of most muslim women and, and command yeah. that demons to leave and but we often get by the dressing we get cheated yeah we think we put them in a box yeah yeah. But it's, 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 they don't have to be a box. We don't know what is behind I, that yeah, person exactly. and how much yeah, that yeah, person yeah. is seeing God. Jesus got 
born in December, but there was no choice when he got born. You know? And this is the sad thing, but one thing, it's one thing to celebrate Jesus' birth, and I think it was what I did before, before I knew Jesus. I was going around the Christmas tree in Denmark, yeah. in a Lutheran country, and was singing, a child was born in Bethlehem. And I remember as a kid still, I was running around and said, and what so? Yes, there was a child that was born in Bethlehem, but, but, but I want my present, and my present is, is laying under the tree. What shall I use a child for? And, but I did not understand in my life that time that that child did not continue being a child. <laughs> he actually grew up. And this is what we see in religion, to celebrate him as a child, to celebrate there or dying, or him as crucified. But we should celebrate Jesus as the living one. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is alive. And he's the king. He's, he came with his kingdom and he wants to be king and he's living today. Yeah. And it's so crazy for me to be here now as a kid going around saying a child is born in Bethlehem. And now outside this church, people got healed and do, do, do and set free from demons. Yeah. And why? Because Jesus did not continue as a child. Yeah, if he had just continued on the cross, we have also not seen it. If he had just yeah. been buried, we have not seen it. Yeah. But because he rose up again. So to, 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 to wrap up the day, we were driving back and we were just heading back to the hotel. But there was one more appointment from two, again, Arabic kids. One of them was tormented by demons. He had been doing very bad stuff, watching very bloody videos and started to find pleasure in that. And was, he just thought he was going crazy, losing his mind. And he contacted us and asked us for prayer. So on the way back, we stopped in a certain area, Arab area. Um, open area between some shops and some houses. Hi, it's Alvin. What's your name? What? Uh, have I met you before? No. Okay, where, where did you hear about me from? Uh, school. Okay, because of friend. Uh, yes. I pray for a friend. Okay. Are you nervous or are you afraid? Or sit down. I am. Why? I've been. Uh, Getting attracted. Attacked. Attracted to, to uh, demons. So okay. But, uh, from many things I've read. I've read uh, from the stories about the uh, things. Okay. Killings. Okay. Food, uh, torturing videos. You what? Torturing videos. Torturing. Torturing. Okay. How? Uh, when did that start? How are you are how old now? Seven? Eighteen. How much do you think of it? Is it all the time or every day? Every time. Okay. Do you see videos now still and okay. I actually to be honest I like it. But you I, like I it. know I should stop this. Yeah, okay. I don't know how Okay. Who's coming? Is is this is a friend? Yes, it's a friend. Okay, who know your problem? Uh, yes. Okay. Are you you a Muslim or what are you? I, I call myself. Yeah, but you don't live it. Yeah. No. Do you know about Jesus? Have you heard about Jesus? Because I believe Jesus can set you free. Why would he? Because he loves you. What does he love? Yeah, this is not easy to understand because we have not deserved it. I uh, did nothing for him. No. To love him. No. Actually, we have done a lot of bad things. Hello, Tom. Now you have that fear and that inside of you, but do you have physical pain? Yes. Where is that? It's on my neck. When okay. When do you have it? Do you have pain? I have in my chest. Your chest. Okay. But do you, in neck is it just there or down there? Is it down your? Okay. Do you feel the pain now? When, when I uh, turn my neck, turn Okay, try to turn it back. Okay. Can you feel it? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, then we, God, I pray for freedom right now. I pray for healing. Sit it in place, God. I pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Try to turn it again. Oh. I can't believe. Yeah. Whoa. I'm speechless. <laughs> 
What is wrong with your breast? Uh, it uh, started itching, then okay. uh, it turned into pain. Okay, you have pain now? Yeah. When you breathe? Or, okay, put no, your hands when I put okay. My hands here. Okay. God, thank you for healing right now. God, heal his breast right now. Holy Spirit. Try again. Yeah, still. Okay. We pray a few times. God, I thank you for last thing. Go right now. Last thing. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Try again. Getting better? Yeah. It's gone? It's almost gone. It's last thing. Go. Last thing. Go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. But it's all about prayer. If we know Jesus, if we know God, we, we can pray for sick people. They could not understand and say, but why would Jesus die for me? Why, did he, why would he love me? And we could have the chance to explain what the gospel is about and, and, and why God needed to sacrifice his son in, to, to pay the price of their sins. It was a very special moment. You're both sinners. Am I right or not? Yeah. You make sins. I do. When you commit a sin, you have a debt with God. And you cannot pay that. Why did he do that for us? Why? Because when God created you, God didn't create you to throw you in hell. God created you as his son. God created us as his people. But we decided to do things our way. Say, no, no, God, wait, wait, I have better, ni nicer things to do. Let me do my, my own thing. And then Jesus said, if you sin, you become a slave of sin. But if I make you free, said Jesus, then you will be really free. And that's what I experienced. I was addicted to alcohol, addicted to all kinds of things. I could not change my life. Of course not. But when I met Jesus, because he paid the price, he paid the debt on the cross. That's why he died. He didn't die to build big temples, to build big religions, to see all the things you see here. He didn't die for that. He died so that you can be free. Now I'm free. I don't need to sin anymore. And I have contact with God. God is not for me a religion that they teach me the rules that you have to pray like this and like this and like that and go to the temple and go. It's not like that. He's my father. I know him as a father, as a perfect father. And because he cares for me, he sent somebody who could pay my debt. Then we saw a little bit of danger. Um, because we started to pray for this kid and he was in the front of a house and then the family that lived in the house arrived and they were very upset that we were praying and they asked his friend what's going on and he said something that it was about Jesus so they really got upset and they asked us to leave. So we had to stop praying for the kid to move to the another side of the street where we could pray farther. Season, we command, leave him, Season, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, go, 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 Season, leave him right now in the name of Jesus, leave him right now, leave his fort, go right now, ba da 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 Oh, what do you feel? Oh yeah. Do you feel bad? So I light for one second. Oh, okay. But when you have not seen that light before? I feel something different. I don't know if it's better. Okay. I don't know. But you felt something left? Yes, yes. This is good. This is what we wanted. And you saw a light. For once. Yeah, but it's enough. But I want you to get curse now. Come on. Something is happening. And then a group of teenagers came by and a group of little kids. And they started getting in a very funny mocking mood. And when Torrent tried to tell them to please stay away, one of them kind of got a bit aggressive and went to the bigger kids to tell them about that. And then the younger kid told me, you have to leave right now. You need to get out because this is going the wrong direction. So um, we had to leave. Nothing bad happened, but this, 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 this kid that was tormented was set free from a couple of demons. And he was touched. A few days later, he wrote again to me and he wrote this. Thanks a lot, you changed my life. Really thanks. I don't know how to be more thankful. Everything changed. I'm cured. I'm better. I feel like there was a black wall full of dirty things and demons and it's now all gone. Since Jesus did those things to me, I like to repay back and start healing. It's really powerful to see how it can lead from one person to another. It started with us getting lost and then we met that group of people and two of them got healed. One told his friends in school, one of his friends came, he got healed. We shared the gospel, he told his friends and one of his friends came and got set free that day. 
And now, one year later, I'm still in contact with him, and he's thankful, and he's changed, and he's still seeking God. So it's so beautiful to see how we can spread from person to person to person.